five years, the whole nine yards, but have been in ministry for 25. But I seen where we were still going through the constant struggle every day in life, and it just didn't make any sense to me that you would go through some of the things that we went through over and over again, but yet we are constantly quoting Deuteronomy over and over again, head not the tail above, not beneath the lender, not the bar, and something just kind of uh, fuzzed in on me there, but I, I, don't get me wrong, been very successful, so the plight wasn't even about me personally, it was about my surroundings, and I saw my environment of people who I see every day trying to make things happen for themselves, and that's what made me start to delve into the other activities that we don't hear anything about. We don't know anything about deregulations, uh, we don't hear anything about a lot of the other jobs, opportunity, well, career opportunities, wasn't even job opportunities, because I, I I haven't worked for anyone since 2004, mm -hmm. and so that alone was a personal feat uh, to be able to accomplish. And then when I came into this knowledge, uh, this just floored me. I mean, to mm -hmm. say the least, because mm -hmm. I say it on the video, um, I'll be able to take care of my family literally ten generations deep until they mess the money up. <laughs> you mean to tell me, <laughs> even if you were to leave this earth and your family was here, they would be taken? care of afterwards? Yes, because my residual income is willable. Ah. Aha. Okay. Okay, now tell tell our audience what you did for your church when